In the following steps, we will create a new simple parametric 2D profile, which will be connected to our propeller model at the end of this video. Create a F spline, set the name to camber line and set the star tangent and the end position. Create a second F spline for the thickness distribution. In our case, we will have a fixed thickness at the trailing edge of the profile. Create a parameter for the area and connect it to the curve thickness. This parameter controls the integral area below the curve, which can be efficiently utilized for shape variations. Select the camber line and create an offset curve. Select parametric offset and both sides to create the pressure and suction side with just one object. Switch the parametrization to dense begin to ensure a higher density that is curve speed at the leading edge. In order to scale the profile by its core length, we create an image curve along with a scaling transformation. Create a parameter chord for the factor X and connect it to the factor Y. Select all objects except the parameters and create a feature definition from selection. Set your desired name. The unselected parameters will be created automatically as input arguments for the feature definition. Only the resulting image curve shall be accessible from outside. Add the parameters to the selection afterwards delete the selected objects. They are not needed anymore. Because they are encapsulated in the feature definition. Go to the Curve menu and create a Curve Engine. Set the created feature definition as input for definition. The base curve is chosen automatically, since there is only one available. Set an input function for chord. Activate the visibility of the scope blade. Change the curve engine from the blade entity to the new curve engine. The blade gets updated and is now based on the new profile definition. Activate the visibility of the propeller object. This propeller is now based on the Creator 2D definition.